In this video, we are going to do a VR performance test in DCS. I sometimes just like to make these videos. I remember when buying my graphics card, it was kind of hard to find these videos, specifically for VR, so here I am making them myself. We are going to do the VR performance test on the Quest 2 and the HP Reverb using four different game settings and testing it on different pixel densities. But first, let's take a look at the computer specs. I run DCS on a 3080 Ti with a i9-9900K processor and 32GB of RAM. Let's first take a look at the Quest 2 performance and having set the refresh rate to 72Hz. I am by the way using Earlink. So we are first going to take a look at the standard VR settings that I could choose in the options and we play on a 1.6 pixel density. Now let me first tell you that I am not the best shooter. Here we are firing against a friendly airplane. Um, but you can see we have a stable 72 FPS, so this is all running perfectly fine. Now once we get closer to the burning airplane over here, we see a little bit of a frame drop coming up here. Um, going around 60, 30 here goes into reprojection mode. And especially when we are somewhat lower to the ground, the FPS is a little bit all over the place. Definitely not a stable 72 FPS. We up the graphics a little bit, not going through all of them, you can pause it. I would say medium to high graphics, but this time with a pixel density of 1.4. And here shooting at the friendly airplane, we hit 72 FPS, super smooth here. Remember that we are playing on the Quest 2 with a refresh rate of 72, so I personally like to, you know, always hit that 72 FPS for the best and smooth gameplay. Even here coming close to the burning airplane, there's no drops whatsoever, maybe uh, FPS 1 or 2 here and there. And even here, flying low, we just constantly hit that 72 FPS. And that is so an amazing experience. Really happy with these settings. Now let's turn everything up here in the settings with the same pixel density of 1.4. And here it basically goes into reprojection mode from the get-go. The FPS is all over the place. I don't even want to show you how it is down low. It's not how I would like to play. That was a little bit too unstable for my taste, so in these custom settings number 3, I turned down the anisotropic filtering to 2 and shadows to flat only. Now up high it's kind of fine, 72 FPS, kind of stable. Uh, but as soon as you come closer to like a uh, burning airplane, see the FPS drop and that goes the same for flying at low altitudes uh, it goes into reprojection mode goes up it's it's not the best setting but it's uh, it could do for some I guess it just doesn't work for me all right let's move over to the HP reverb the HP reverb has a refresh rate of 90 Hertz so I am looking for a game setting where we can constantly hit that 90 FPS in game in all situations so let's first take a look at the standard VR settings with a pixel density of 1.6. Remember, the HP Reverb has a refresh rate of 90 Hz, so you know getting to that 90 FPS is just harder. Uh, we are around 60 FPS constantly here, which is not optimal, but not too shabby, I would say. Now here are the same settings, but with a pixel density of 1.4. You can see here we gain some FPS. We are now at around 80 at high altitude. But at low altitude it drops a little bit to 70. So we gain 20 to 10 FPS here. And let's try it a little bit lower even with a pixel density of 1.0. At high altitudes it can handle a stable 90 FPS. It looks really smooth in the headset as well. Even going close here to the burning airplane, we do see some frame drops, but not too shabby. But if we go at low altitude, yeah, we de we it's hard. It 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 has a hard time handling that 90 FPS. Although in a not urban area, it does hit that 90 FPS. Let's go into the custom settings number one with a pixel density of one. Thank you. 
let's take a look at the custom two settings high settings here with a pixel density of one And turn it a little bit down here with custom settings 3 with a pixel density again of 1. So that was it for today. We both tested the HP Reverb and the Quest 2. And I can say I am pretty happy with the results. Of course, it is much more demanding to hit that 90 FPS constantly with the HP Reverb instead of hitting the 72 FPS with the Quest 2. And even though the HP Reverb, even with a pixel density of 1, is just a little bit more clear because it's, you know, wired and I'm playing via Airlink uh, with the Quest 2, I prefer the Quest 2. I prefer to hit that 72 fps in whatever situation uh, with a pixel density of 1.4 on the custom setting one i just really can't wait to get back and do some dogfighting i hope you like this video and i hope it helps you a bit if you liked it then give it a like and if you have any questions just drop them in the comments down below and if you want to keep up to date with the latest pc vr updates then subscribe to this channel i hope to see you all in the next video ciao ciao